Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial on Tick and Tie Designer. If you are actually tired of spending countless hours crafting and coding your GUI applications in Python and Tick and Tie manually, well, say goodbye to the old way because Tick and Tie Designer is here to revolutionize your workflow in building GUI applications very easily. This is an antivirus software that was built using drag and drop with Tick and Tie Designer. Also, this is a screen recording desktop app that was built completely using drag and drop. Again, here is also an online music player built completely with drag and drop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing software design in Python without having you to write any single line of code. It's 100% drag and drop and the code will be automatically generated for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, head over to the official Tick and Tie Designer page on PyPI. So actually, we won't be installing the package directly from PyPI, but we're going to download the code from this GitHub repository where all the code is being uploaded. Now here is the GitHub repository. I'm also going to drop the link in the video description for you to check it out. Now what we're going to do is to click on code and then download the whole repository to our local computer. And when it's done downloading, locate the zip file and extract the files. Now here is the whole code we just downloaded from the repository. So the next thing we're going to do is to open our favorite code editor. I'm actually going to go with VS code and then click on open folder and navigate to the repository we just downloaded and then click on open. So now Within the files folder, you're going to find a file called requirements.txt and then open. Here we can find the packages or dependencies we need to install which are required for Tick and Tie Designer to run correctly. So let's install these packages. On the VS Code terminal, make sure you are in the same directory as the requirement.txt file, which is the Tick and Tie Designer folder on your machine. And one thing to note is that make sure you have Python installed on your computer and then type in the following command pip install if you are on a Windows computer. But if you are on a Mac, you're gonna use pip3 instead of just pip and then type in install minus r requirement.txt and then hit enter to execute the command. And when it's done installing the packages, the next step is we're going to run our Tick and Tie Designer software. So head over to GUI and under the Assets folder, open GUI.py file. And finally, click on the Run button. Now, here is our Tick and Tie Designer software. However, we are actually not going to use the software itself alone to produce the design for our application. But we're going to use a software called Figma to produce and make the design for our software application. So Figma is an online tool that helps people to design apps and websites. So click on get started here to create an account. You can also download the desktop app version by clicking on products and then selecting downloads. Now you can find the desktop versions for Mac and Windows operating systems. So when you are done setting up Figma on your computer, log in and create a new file project. So now the first thing we want to do is to create a frame for our software. So I'm going to go to this drop down and then select on frame. So I'm going to draw my frame and I'm going to give it a size, which is going to be 950 pixels for the width and then 600 pixels for the height. So this is actually the frame for our application. And I'm going to give it a color, which is the color right here. And the next thing I'm going to do is to draw a rectangle inside our application frame. I'm going to hold and draw the rectangle. So now we're going to add images for the design. I have few downloaded images, which I'm going to use for our application. But you can use your own custom images if you want to. So I'm going to select on the images and then drop them inside the Figma design. 
and here is our images imported. So I'm going to hold the shift key and then reduce the size of this image. Then add the image here on the background of our app. And the next thing I'm going to do is to select on the rectangle too and then draw a rectangle. I'm going to give it a width of 234 pixels and then height of 43 pixels. And then I'm going to give it a color white. Also a corner radius of 10. Finally, I'm going to duplicate this rectangle by pressing on Ctrl plus D on Windows or Command D if you are on a Mac computer. And then drag to the other side of the frame. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take this GoGo -Go image and reduce the size to 35 pixels on the width. And then also 35 pixels on the height. Then drag the image to the left side of this rectangle here. Then also I'm going to select on the Facebook image and give it a size of 35 pixels on the width and 35 pixels on the height. Then also drag it to the left side of the second rectangle. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to select on the text tool here and then type in sign up with Google. I'm going to duplicate this text and then drag it to the right. Then I'm going to change the text Google to Facebook. Now we have two of our sign up buttons. And the next thing we're going to do is to create a sign up form for the app. So again, I'm going to select the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle. This is going to be our first input form. I'm going to give it a color white. And then I'm going to select the text tool and type in name. So this input is going to be the field for names in our app. Again, I'm going to add the text all at the middle here and then change the font width to bold. Now to create our second field, I'm just going to duplicate this rectangle and name and then drag to the bottom. I'm also going to change name to enter your email. Then select the rectangle and duplicate to create another input field. And then I'm going to drag the input field below. Again, I'm going to change this text to enter password, then column. So lastly, we're going to create a submit button. To do that, I'm going to select on this rectangle here and then duplicate below. I'm also going to create a label for the button. I'm going to select on text and then type in create account, all in uppercase. And I'm going to give it a font size of 12. And also change the font width to bold. Then I'm going to drag the text to the middle of our submit button. So now the final element we're going to add is the terms and condition below the submit button. To do that, I'm just going to select on any of the text here and then duplicate. Then drag to the button here. And then change the font size to, let's say, 13. Then type in, by creating an account, you have to agree with our terms and condition. And then full stop. Alright, now we have our application UI design completed. So feel free to add your custom designs to enhance the look of the application. However, before we can convert this design into actual Python code, we first need to rename this component used in the design of the UI. Meaning, we need to give them custom names based on the documentation provided on Tkinter Designer. I will drop the link to this documentation in the video description below. So, as you can see, if our Tkinter application consists of this element, this is how we're going to name them in Figma, which is very important because as they mentioned, the code generated by Tkinter Designer is based on the names of elements from your Figma design. And as such, you need to name your elements accordingly. So I'm going to head back to our design. Starting with the images, I'm going to rename this image. And then the second image, which is also image. Lastly, the third image, which is also going to be image. So for all of the text, we don't have to give it a custom name. You can just leave it to anything you want based on the documentation. Then after that, we're going to start naming our input field. 
So the first entry name is going to be renamed as textbox. Also, we have the entry for email, which is also going to be renamed as textbox. Finally, we have the last entry, which is for password. We're going to change that also to textbox. And then for the create account button here, I'm going to select on the rectangle and also the text. And then press Ctrl plus G for Windows or Command plus G if you are on a Mac computer, which is going to group our selection. Then change the name of the group to button. Lastly, we're going to start naming our rectangles. So our background here is going to be named as rectangle alone. Now for the little background rectangles here we have for Google and Facebook. In order for Tikinta Designer to implement these corner curves on the rectangle, we have to name the rectangle as image instead. And also for Facebook, I'm going to change that to image. Alright, now we have our app design completed. And the next thing we want to do is to convert this design into a graphical user interface. So to do that, we're going to head over to our code editor under the GUI folder and then rerun the GUI.py file. Now we need to get three things in order for Tikenta Designer to generate our UI design. The first thing we need is to get the token. And to do that, I'm going to head back to our Figma, then go to the home page and select on my profile and then click on settings scroll under personal access tokens and then click on generate new token so we're going to give our token a name which i'm going to say tick enter designer and then click on generate token so here is our key token now i'm going to copy this token click on close then back to our tick enter designer app and then paste the token id i just copied Again, we need the file URL, which is our Figma design. So back to Figma inside our UI design, I'm going to click on the share button here, then copy the link here for our file URL. Then back to Tikenta Designer, I'm going to paste the link to the file. Then finally, we need to select the output part where Tikenta Designer is going to save the code for our application. So I'm going to click on this little icon and then select our desktop folder. Then click on choose. Lastly, we're going to click on the generate button here. Now we're going to wait for the code to be generated and saved on our computer desktop. And when it's done, click on OK. Now back to our desktop folder, we're going to find a new folder called build. And when we open the folder, we're going to find the GUI.py file and then the asset folder, which contains all the images and other files required to run the application. So now I'm going to open the Python file and then run the app. This is awesome, right? I think you should take a moment to appreciate the seamless integration of design and functionality brought to life by Tikinta Designer and Figma. So feel free to customize the design and make your awesome software. And in future video, I'm going to show you how to add functionalities to desktop app built with Tkenter. Like enabling the create account button here to submit the data entered by users and so on. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. And as always, take care.